It's Ivy and I am back with another Halloween tutorial. This is kind of something I made up pulling from a few different inspirations. So I did not make up sugar skulls, which are a traditional symbol in Dia de los Muertos celebrations. However, um, I've never done one of these. I just kind of felt like I'd seen them so many times. But earlier I did a tutorial that I absolutely hated. It was a panda bear. It turned out horrible. Even though it was just two colors and really simple, it was, it was just not what I wanted to put out there. I was not happy with it. So I was feeling really angry and just like stewing about it. And I saw my friend Sozinski, that's her Instagram, um, Twitter name, but I'll link her below. She posted this. She paints these beautiful custom pieces. Then I kind of remembered that I got this Morphe Picasso palette when I was in New York. I got this from Ricky's New York and I never got to really use this much. So I love how bright and pigmented these colors are. So I wanted to use this for sure. Um, and so I also love white henna designs. I've seen a lot of that lately. I've kind of experimented with it just on my own hands. And so I kind of pulled together all of those inspirations and I kind of wondered if there's something out there like it. So I did look up um, Rainbow Sugar Skull and I found this. So I did sort of base it off of this image as well. This is what I'm calling my Rainbow Sherber Sugar Skull. That's a mouthful. Um, I hope you guys like it. It's a different take on the Sugar Skulls that you might see around every Halloween. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, the headband is actually from the Dia de los Muertos decor section at Target last year. I do see they have a section again this year, but I don't, I don't know if they have any of these types of headbands, but you could always look or make one yourself. Very simple to just glue some flowers onto a headband. Um, if you would like to see how I created this look, just keep watching.